Good day, everyone. Good day, dancers. Today, we're going to do a little bit of Horton, and I would like to do, I am a YAGP teacher and judge, and my name is Karine Plantadi, and welcome to my home. Yes, indeed. And behind us is my assistant. She'll be there when um, uh, I would like to show you exactly what we mean, anatomically speaking, what we need to do. But the Horton technique is a modern technique. It was created by a gentleman called Lester Horton. I want to share something about Lester Horton before we start, right? This is what he says. I am sincerely trying now to create a dance technique based entirely upon corrective exercises, created with a knowledge of human anatomy, a technique which will correct physical faults and prepare a dancer for any type of dancing he may wish to follow. A technique having all the basic movements which governs the actions of the body, combined with a knowledge of the origin of movement and a sense of artistic design. So this is really something special. <coughs> Mr. Horton was very specific. This is a technique that is about to support the body no matter what you decide to do in your life, right? No matter if you want to do a ballet dancer, you want to do a belly dancer, you want to do any kind of dancer, this is a technique to keep you strong. So I invite you to really start now. We're going to start very nice and slow, the basics of it. The basics of it is that Mr. Horton really believed that the body needed to be taken care of 360. If you do ballet a lot, you're using your ballet turnout, right? All the muscles to do the turnout, the glutes, the outside of your legs, the inside of the legs. Now, Mr. Horton wanted to create a practice and a, and a technique that will allow the body to feel whole, which means that he's taking care of the alignment from the standpoint of parallel position. So we're gonna be in parallel most of the time. Uh, it's gonna be super, what's the word? <coughs> um, challenging, it's challenging, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And this is Prince Henry, who loves Horton as well. And he's gonna be in and out of the class as you may have seen him before. Now, before we start, I want you to, so you're gonna see my entire body here. I will go for the first part, which is a curving of the body forward and back allowing the body to start to warm up the entire spine and to start to find your parallel position. Now, parallel position, look at your feet right now. The inside of your feet needs to be parallel to the other side of the feet, of the foot, and vice versa. And, and also from the outside. The... See, this is what quarantine confinement is all about. Can't control what other people are gonna do in their space. This is my boyfriend right now. And now, just like, mess it all up. So, let's get back to it. So, <laughs> I wanna talk about parallel position. Look at your feet and turn your head down and make sure that the inside of your feet is parallel, your foot, the right foot is parallel to the left foot and on the other side. Press your feet down strong. This is the base of the parallel position. You want the hips right underneath your hip bones. So not open this way and not close to start. Really stabilize, right? Really stabilize. Actually in yoga, this is called mountain pose. Very sturdy. This is what we're going to do. Eight counts to go all the way around just the head. The head goes eight counts towards the right. On the end count, you bring your head up. Eight counts towards the left. On the end count, you bring it up. You're going to roll down eight counts. Make sure you don't pull back on your legs. My hands are going to go all the way down. Eight counts to go down. Now, squat. I'm going to plie and my knees are going to come all the way forward. My hands are forward. This is four counts straight. And then eight counts to roll up. Your belly goes in. Your head is the last thing. Your feet are going to come together on the left side. Eight counts and eight counts and eight counts all the way down. Four counts to squat, knees over ankles. Four counts to stretch 
and then eight counts to roll up. You come all the way up. My baby is in and I'm pulled up. I open again. You go in four counts. One, two, three, four, and four, and four, all the way down. This is your two. Starting to warm up your, your thighs, your quads, you stretch in two, and then you roll up in four. And it's gonna be the same thing here. Four, and just ahead, four, and four, two, two, four, open. Then we go back in two, two, and two, and two. Single one, one, two to roll up, feet together, left side, two, two, <coughs> two, one, one, two, we'll repeat that twice, okay? Very simple. Now check this out. This is me rolling down. Make sure you don't pull back on your leg, right? At that point, you're not working. You want to stay forward, so I'm rolling forward. I'm staying forward towards my leg. Now check it out. For some of us, this is not possible to do this. So in this case, you will put your hands down and you lift the heels slightly, yeah? Same work though, heels, hips down, all the way down. All right, let's start. Put it down, parallel position. Hands are gonna go down, this is the work in base. Five, six, bring your belly in, let's keep it down. One. Get there and don't move. 
One more time. Work out. Four times. Let's go. Boom. Two. Three. Four. Plie. Stretch. Plie. Stretch. Let it go. Relax. Good work. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the port de bras, right? The port de bras, Mr. Horton was very specific about finding a way to use other muscles that we are using usually in uh, ballet. Now, my assistant here, her name is uh, Miss Kay. She's going to come forward or closer. And I'm going to show you the port de bras that are correct in Horton. The port de bras first position in ballet becomes this in Horton. First position ballet becomes this in Horton. Fifth position en haut becomes this in Horton. Second position ballet becomes this in Horton. Is that clear? That's what we just did, right? So, kakakun, 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 right? Very parallel. It's either you're on parallel or you're not on parallel. So it's either you are turn out or you're not turn out, right? Same situation. Thank you, Miss K. Actually, her name is Lady K. All right, we wanna talk about the signature piece of Mr. Uh, Lester Horton, flat backs. Now, if you imagine that, right, you wanna make your body becoming just like a table, right? Just like a table. Now, Lady K here is gonna show us what we should be looking for. Lady K loves parallel position, so we should be okay. So our feet are parallel. Lady K, flat back and four, please. So this is one, two, three, four. You want your head to really go forward. Lady K does it very well. She's not pulling back on her legs right now, right? Because you will be actually hurting yourself, so you don't want to do that. So you want to actually stay in a 90 degree angle, and you want your shoulders to be down the back and the head moving forward. The bum, the tail is going back that direction and the hands are stood out to the side. Yeah, this is four counts. And we're gonna do it in two counts up, two counts up. Four counts again, all the way four. You gotta count to four. Then you go two and two and two and two. You will do the, exactly the same thing. In four counts, your hands are gonna go all the way up towards the sky, like that position that we did earlier, parallel. You're gonna do exactly the same thing, four counts, Four counts, two, 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 four counts, four counts, two, 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 two. You bring your hands down on four. Now, combination. We're going to do a little bit of work here. One, two, three, four is your flat back. Your arms are going to go in two, two, three, four. You're going to roll it in three, two, three, four. You're going to stay four, two, three, four. Okay, up to here. Now, you're going to rise up five, two, three, four, and six, two, three, four. You're gonna stay seven, two, three, four. You're gonna do what we call flat back back bend. So your body is going to go forward. My, uh, the, th the, the hip bones are gonna go forward and the head is gonna go back. So you're creating a flat back in this direction with the hands parallel, right? You're gonna rise back up and then your hands are gonna slowly go down. So I repeat in four counts. This is your flat back and four. Hands on four, so that's two, four. You roll it three. You stay four. You go up on five and six. So you're on relevé at this point, right? Relevé. Five and six. You stay on seven, two, three, four. On eight, two, three, four, you lower, resist the floor, eight, two, three, four. Flat back, back, bend, nine, two, three, four. With the hips forward, lady K, lady hips forward. Flat back, back, bend. You come all the way back. This is nine, two, three, four, and this is your 10, two, three, four. You do the four count one times. Then two counts, two times, and then we're gonna go for four times in uh, with uh, one count. All right, good luck with all that. All right, everyone, those are the flat backs, yeah? Four counts. 
Really breathe. And elongate the spine forward, tail back. Up. Two taps. Two counts. Bring your arms up for count one. Arms parallel to each other, palms parallel. Four counts in one. Two. Clench your feet down. Four counts, two up. Keep your rib cage really close. Two counts. One. Two. Four counts, one. position forward which means that you will not be able to see your heel in the back turnout always has this capacity to see the heel when you see the heel it's turnout but in this moment actually you won't see your heel so we're going to go forward and side and back just with the right leg to start so it's going to go like this force the arch full force the arch down you'll do the same thing with the tendu force the arch full force the arch down you're going to go tendu you're gonna do dégagé, you're gonna do enveloppé, and then you're gonna go open the body, break it down, right? The body's gonna open and you come back to normal. So you're gonna open the rib cage, arch the back, and then come back to normal. Then you go to the left side, you do the same thing. Half, full, half, down. Half, full, half, down. Tendu, dégagé, enveloppé, break down. To the right side, exactly the same thing. To the left side, the same thing. To the back, and then to the side. Tendus, David, uh, front. Parallel. Really listen to the music, right? Parallel feet, ankles together, hands down. Up, four, up, up, four, up. Tendu, dégagé, enveloppé, break, down, up. 
very strong in this tennis class. Up, two, up. Turns in. You guys check. A little bit. Break. And side to the right. Make sure you don't sip up. Back it down. Left. Open up to the left side. Up, two, up. Turns in. Big a jet. A little bit. And your foot, take a jet, a little bit, rhythm, boom, open up, left foot, to the back, up, four, up, use the floor, turn to, take a jet, a little bit, that's time, to the right. Use your standing leg like it is the actual standing leg, the most important. A little bit. Getting warm, left side to the left. Turn to the ground, off the ground. A little bit. Plie, plie, two times. One little bit, two times. Again, plie, plie. Be mindful in your plies, use the floor. Now listen to this, open the arms. We're gonna go for the arm, plie, for the arm. Stretch and down. One more time. Plie. For the arch. Up. Reverse. Up. Ankles together. Heels on the ground. Stretch. Use your arms. Down and up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Last one. Stay up. Now use the border bra. One. Two. Three, four, forward, one. Up, two. Side, two. Down. Plie, turn it up. Plie. Plie. Roll a bit. Roll a bit. One more time. Plie. Plie. Roll a bit. Arms open up. Use your arms to stay strong. Plie, for the arch. Up, and down, one more time. Plie, breathe, stretch. We're gonna reverse that. This is the floor. Come up. Plie, down, up, last time. Plie, up, four, five, and down and up. Use your belly, use your ground. Stay up. Four counts down. Arms over four. Arms all the way up. Arms open the last go. Down. Good job. Bring it back. Get your breath in. <sighs> now, a little tutorial on Egyptian walks. By the way, this doll was given to me by Judith Jeminson, who was uh, my boss when I was in the Ailey company. Yes, you wonder why she got me this doll, right? You, I really did not get it. I'm like, she doesn't look like me at all. <laughs> that was before the hair, right? So anyways, moving right along. We're going to go four counts up, parallel. Your hands are down. You're going to turn your hands and then you're going to bring them to 90 degree angle. So, and you want your palms to face each other. 90 degree angle, it's not this way and it's not that way, right, you guys? So you really wanna stay 90 degree angle to the ground and 90 degree angle towards each other, right? This is what we call Egyptian walk. And we're gonna walk like this. We're gonna go four counts forward, four counts back, and I will take you through a little count. So we go, first, you're just gonna walk with your feet forward, four counts, four counts, four counts, four counts, left side, and you always go through your sixth position, four counts. Then we're gonna do two counts, two counts, two counts, two counts, 
two, 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 two. One, 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 one. Just the feet. So you get organized with your feet. After that, we'll add the arms. And once the arms are up and they're in Egyptian walk position, you're actually going to turn in opposition. So if my right foot is forward, then my left elbow is going to go forward. So my right leg forward, left elbow forward, right? This is called opposition. There's an opposition between your left elbow and your right hip. Thank you, lady. Because she loves Egyptian walks. She loves it very much. I think she thinks she's a Cleopatra or something. Anyways, so this is what you want to do. You make sure you're in opposition. And when we go backward, the same situation. If your left leg goes back, the right elbow goes back, right? Clearly. Get prepared. Go back very far so you can walk it. Feet together. Four cuts. One, two, 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 three, two. Feel the ground. Give me dernier. Four, two. This is your last. Going back. exercise that is using your spine. So your spine moves pretty much in all kind of direction. You have your vertebras, so you're moving back and forth, or you can actually rotate them, which we'll use during the uh, Egyptian walk, right? So contractions are almost the opposite of uh, flat back. Flat back, we were going exactly like Lady K was showing us. She's not interested right now. So Lady K was showing us the flat back like this. Actually, in the curving, you're able to curve your spine backward, like your head is going this way and the back is going back this way, so to create this beautiful curve called the contraction. So we're going to do this contraction. Remember the contractions are not a drop, right? Contraction are literally shoulders on top of your hip bones, right? So you get able to like open up. So this is the exercise. You're releasing from the top. I'm bending my knees sideways in a big plie. My first contraction is gonna go that direction. This is gonna be my one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna open two, two, three, four. And that's gonna go the other way. Two, two, three, four. This is three, two, three, four. This is four, two, three, four. This is one, two, 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 three, two, Four, two. You go the other way. One, two, three, four, and two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Three, two, three, three, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Clear? And after that, you do it in half count. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. One, one. Now your foot can glide on the ground. That's what you want. actually want to be barefoot so you can really feel the ground. Yeah. And I really am going parallel here. 
Every time you go parallel, this is a turn up. This is a parallel, this is a turn up. So your hips are really going to be really managing the turn up and parallel while your upper torso is actually moving back and forth. That's the joy of being a dancer. You become a master of movement. Let's get ready. So four counts. I hope you're liking this music. Open your arms and legs. Sorry, baby, sorry. Hearts to the side. Four counts. One, two. Open, two. The other direction. Nine, two counts. Again, same direction. One, two, four counts to the other direction. What? Take your time. Two is an opening chest. And four counts. Two. Four counts to three. And now two counts. One, two. Open, same direction. One, two. Now let's go for two counts. One. the legs we want to do développé parallel with flat backs and plies all at once so lady k here is going to demonstrate what needs to happen all at the same time your arms are going to be at a second she doesn't like to keep them there but imagine that our arms are at a second all we're going to do is develop it so you're going to go passé as a regular passé parallel we're going to plie the standing leg and you're going to stretch the leg forward in a complete plié parallel, just like that, right? That's just the position that you want to be in. You come back into parallel, stretch your standing leg, and then come back, right? Now, on the side, you're going to do plié, I'm sorry, passé. At that moment, you're going to plié, and you're going to go flat back and parallel à la seconde. All that needs to happen at the same time, right? She is parallel to the ground like the flat backs that we've been doing she's going to plie her standing leg which is going to make it feel good and then her leg the other leg is absolutely yes parallel you're coming back stretch your leg bring your body up and bring your knee up to tongue passe the same thing is going to happen to the back she's going to parallel passe again your arms are a la seconde at the same time, she's going to go into a flat back. She's going to stretch her back leg and her standing leg is going to go passe. That's the direction that you want to be in, right? Just like that. Expanding everything sideways and long. And when you come back, everything comes back at the same time. Your parallel is coming back. You're stretching your standing leg and your body goes back up and stretch. So all of that, four counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. You go with the left leg. One, two, three, four to the front. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four is your sand to the side. Your arms are always moving forward and back, forward and side, yes. And then you go back. That's it. And then we'll see how we feel. And if Lady K is happy, I'm going to stand from her here so she can watch the show. All right. A little bit like an adagio feel, right? One, two, three, four, 
clear to forget that all at the same time change your legs that's it plie and stretch forward bring it back all at the same time coordination now side right leg one two flat back plie one two three technique we've only scratched the surface but it's a good surface right one of the things we want to do when we are dancing in general as we are masters of motion is to be able to isolate right your body so we're going to do isolation of the head see lady k can move her head this way we can move our head that way we can move our torso she's a little um limited on this and then we can move our hips separately from each part of the body. Those are called isolation. So we're gonna go with the head. The head is gonna go right. Oh. The head is gonna go right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straight. Up, down. Up, center, down, center. Up, center, down, center. Boom. Be very specific. Right ear to the right shoulder, center. Left ear to the left shoulder, center. Center. And then you go back and forth, back and forth on eight, and you come back. Yeah? Now, your torso is going to be doing the same thing. My hands are on my hips. I'm going to slightly bend so I'm not locked up, right? My torso is going to go first. Side, boom, ta -ta, ba -ba, boom, pa -pa, boom, pa -ba, ba -ba, ba and then you follow through, you do exactly this. Then it goes forward, center, back, center, forward, center, back, center. See, if you're looking at it from the center, my torso moves forward and moves back, right? Moves forward and moves back, so eight and. You're gonna go forward, side, back, and. Again, side, back, now you're changing, boom, ta ta ka ta boom, ta you're going to go two times around and then you're going to end up and two times like a fluid round around your own spine 
and down. The hips are going to go pum pa 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 pum pa 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 pum pa 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 pum. They're going to go side and side and side and side and side and side and side. You go forward and back and forward and back. Forward back, forward back, forward back, forward back. Forward side, pum pa. Two times, very distinct center, side, side uh, circles all the way around. Then you go around two times in the around fluid circle and two times back. That is it. Okay, those are fun. You need to move isolation of the body separately. The head is first, then the torso, then the hips. And then we get to add, right? You get to add, you get to move with it. That is for level intermediate. Let's go. Some good music here for you. Woo! Get ready. Very sturdy, six to the right first, right, center, left, again, right, follow through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up, uh oh, down, up, down, follow through, Technique, and this is from Karen Plantedi uh, from YGP. 